All right, welcome back. So for this one, I'm going to create another 2D dynamic mill, 2D high speed toolpath, dynamic mill operation to machine the inside area over here. But there is a problem and you will sometimes you'll get into this. You'll create a geometry and you'll come back, try to create a toolpath and the chain isn't working the way that you want it to work. And it's because of certain features. So for example, I know that I need to come in and I need to select this entire chain right here. So basically it's going to be start over here all the way out to the outside and of do the avoidance region over being over here. But the problem with that is that if I select this entire chain over here and it has to be a closed chain, all right, this area doesn't select. So it's only going to select from here to here. And this line isn't selected by it. And that's because this line starts from right here to right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break these entities. So this video is just to show you guys how to break two different geometries into multiple pieces. So I'm going to zoom in real quick as much as I can to both of those geometries and come over here. There's a nice feature called break two pieces. And what that does is it allows you to break two pieces. So what you're going to do is, for example, select this feature right here and just come over here to this point and select it. What that does is going to break that line into two pieces, as you can see over here. And then it'll ask you again, select an entity to break. So we are still on that. You can select this line again and then select this point where you're breaking it from. So there you go. So now you have two different geometries. Again, if you were to try to create that geometry, the toolpath using that one line, it's only going to select from here all the way ending over here and it's going to create an issue. You won't be able to create that 2D high speed toolpath selecting that geometry. You want to be able to select this geometry as well. So as you can see now, this geometry connects both to this point and to this point. So now in our next video, we're able to select that. Now, one thing you're going to see, you're going to notice right away is that for the first operation, it makes it a dirty operation. That's because we've already selected that entire thing as a chain. Now, if you come over here and try to regenerate uh, the dirty operation, it says an open avoidance region chain was detected. So to fix that, come over here, select OK to accept it, go to parameters, toolpath, and over here under avoidance region, select it. And I'm going to zoom out real quick and select that area. So as you can see, you're going to notice that the area is selected all the way around, but not this line. So all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add a chain and add this chain right here. Now, as you can see, it still starts over here and ends over here. So one thing to do if you are having issues, I do this a lot too because it does, uh, you know, it is time consuming, especially when there's probably a geometry that you have to select here somewhere and you just can't get into it. What I'd like to do is I'll select OK over here. I'll delete both of my geometries. So I'll delete both of my chains, delete this and delete this again by right clicking on them and deleting them. And now what I'll do is I'll add the chain. So I'll add this chain right here and this chain right here. Now they both become one chain instead of having two chains and select OK. So there's my chain over here, number four, but now it is correct. So I'm going to hit apply and OK. Make sure to fix this by clicking on the regenerate, uh, regenerate dirty operation. And as you can see, now it is correct. And I'm going to place this into my top view and fit the screen just to make sure. And there you go. My toolpath appears again. So I know for a fact that it's corrected. So in our next video, we'll continue by creating the operation for the for dynamic milling the inside of our part.